Today, you guys, we're going to be dealing with a very delicate topic, the Louis Vuitton Vaquetta. You see the Vaquetta leather, super, super light, and it patinas, can get stained really easily. We're going to figure out how to clean it and help you avoid the staining. You know, the little droplets of water, the, the oh, those pesky little droplets of water. How can we avoid them? Well, I found a little solution to that, but first subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today, gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Deco Ball spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. Um, coincidentally, I'm filming this video live in front of my members and patrons, so I'm going to be reading your chats, you guys. Okay, so, listen. Credit where, where credit is due. Uh, several years ago, I saw a video by... Uh, I'm going to post the link to the gentleman's channel down below. Uh, Ashley, uh, we started actually YouTube, I think, right, right about the same time. Uh many years ago and back then he was called bmw ash i think and now his name changed but i'll post the link down below but ashley anyway so i watched this video a time ago uh where he's uh you know showing the louis vuitton bags and how he cares for them for the vaquetta and they do or did in that video look amazing since then i think he got rid of a couple of his bags but I didn't get rid of mine. So he uh, was talking about baby wipes, right? And how he uses baby wipes to uh, clean uh, the vaquetta. And I heard him. I heard it. And I was like, okay. Didn't know what to think about it. Like, should I believe it? Should I not believe it? What do we do? And then I decided to secretly buy the baby wipes that he suggested and start using them on my products, you know, not announcing it to the world that I'm going to do it. And I'm because I wanted to experiment with it and I wanted to use it for some time and figure out if if it really works or is it going to deteriorate the leather? Is it going to end up staining the leather? I mean, I was terrified when I first bought the baby wipes because I thought to myself, OK, this is, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's, oh my God, ride or die situation. But I did buy them and I did start using them. And these are the ones. So depending on like the continent you're in or the country you're in, they might change color in the packaging, but these are called Huggies Pure. Okay, this is the pure version. Uh, and, um, Sometimes they come in a kind of a more orangey reddish packaging. Sometimes it's all blue. I ordered these on Amazon and uh, I might even post a link down below to to get yours uh, as well if you want. Now, of course, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged. Okay. Just my opinion. So I am not telling you to do this to your bags, okay? I did this to my bags and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do it right now on camera for you so you can see how I do it. And so that you can also see that the leather does not stain at all. Um, it's the Huggies Pure, 99% pure water. Uh, there's no perfume in here. There's no alcohol in here. Very, very important, right? Super important that there's no Perfume, no alcohol. Um, also, the wipes should not have any color on them. Obviously, they have to be neutral with no colors on them. So these are white, coincidentally. And um, yeah, it has to be the Huggies Pure version. Okay, so let me show them to you again. But as like I said, if I get a link to Amazon, uh, an affiliate link or something, I will be posting it down below. So you can order yours. I ordered mine off Amazon too. And um, love these little things. I started using them for a lot of different things. So actually, now, first of all, um, you're wearing your bag. You're taking it out. You know, I'm going to clean my hands as well. Just have them perfectly clean when I start touching these bags. So you come back. So I'm going to use one, one of these baby wipes just to be extra sure that I don't have any makeup on my hands now when I start, you know, messing with them. So you come back home, you've used your baglets the whole day or you've been traveling. And then what are you supposed to do when you come home? So, of course, you come home, you wash your hands. 
and then you take care of your bags. So you take out one of these. Okay. Now, this one has little teddy bears on them. Super cute. I usually fold it twice. Okay, are you ready for this? So let's do let's do uh, my Speedy 35, uh, also called Luella Annabeth. So uh, I've been I've been you know wearing the bag the whole day like this with my hands, and obviously you know your oils sedimentate in this area here. And if you don't want to get that black dark stain that quickly, I you know I do this. I take this. And I can do it right for you here. So we rub it and you try to do it fast, fast motions, both sides. Okay. Try to apply the same pressure on every spot. It is super terrifying in the beginning because you're like thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, what am I doing? And then also a little bit here, we rub it a little bit there, there, other side as well. Now be sure to dry the brass giblets. Okay, so it's gonna kind of look darker or stained at the beginning, but the second it dries, it's all gone. As you can see, it didn't stain. It's already dry. Done. Literally. Every time you come home, after you've used them, do this. It also nourishes Oh, do this. Don't do this. I'm not telling you to do anything. You do what you want to do because I don't want you to then tell me, you know, you try doing this, you make a mistake with something, and then you say, Deka made me do it. No, you decide for yourself uh, what you want to do. This is what I do. Okay. Here's Tabitha, my key Paul 50. Same thing. Let me, same thing. We're going to rubby, rubby, rubby in the back as well. And then we're going to do it on the second handle as well. So I particularly like doing this in this area where you hold it the most. That's where the oil. So you can see how it turns darker in the beginning and then it's going to dry. Here you got Vaquetta running all around. So let's do it. We're going to go all around. with our baby wipes. There you go. And then we're going to do this one as well. Especially in this down area, because you're putting the bag down sometimes, right? You want to clean that up. And then also we're going to do all of this. And in this section as well, there you go. And we're done. Now, obviously I took off, um, the, the shoulder strap, the belt, right? Uh, I, just for the sake of this video so that I don't have it all like hanging around. But you do the same with the belt. I take the belt off and then, you know, I kind of pass over the whole thing. The same thing with the name tag and with that little tiny other belt that holds the handles together. You just pass it all and you just let it rest. Audrey's asking, would you do the pull tab too? Yeah. Uh, oh, the pull tab. Yes, so the pull tab, well, here we don't really have a pull tab because it's just this hanging little thing. So yeah, you can pass through it here and then you kind of dry the little brass thing. You dry it up so that it doesn't stay wet too long, so it doesn't oxidize. Right after you've kind of rubbed it, you, 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 um, you dry the little tiny nipples here. Um, here you can do the pull tab too. Here you can you can do the pull tab, you can do this one as well, this one too, for sure, if you've been touching it a lot. Uh, yeah, that's it. And you literally, you literally do this every time you've used the bag. So if you wear it out and about on the town, uh, you come back home, you wipe it off with a baby wipe, you, you, you dispose of the baby wipe and uh, you let this little thing dry. Now, um, Ashley in his video suggests to when you buy a Louis Vuitton piece new to first let it kind of for a week or two just stay not in direct sunlight, but like next to the sun, like next to a window where it does get some light, but not direct sun. 
and then like it's going to patina a little bit. It it creates that minimal patina already as it oxidizes, and it's true. It really does. Um, and um, and then like first let it sit for you know a week or two to collect a little bit of patina before you use it the first time, right? And then before using it the first time, you might wash it with the baby wipes once, and then you go out, you come back home, then you every time you've used it, you do this. And it, and I've been using, listen, I've been using Luella Annabeth like almost on a daily basis. And wow, I'm just so in awe of the fact that like it's, <laughs> the Huggies Pure are really, really, for me, they work. I'm really, really very pleasantly surprised. Also because, you know, I bought this new in the, uh, in the shop, uh, in the Louis Vuitton shop. And as you can watch my, uh, the drama that went with buying this bag because uh, they were, you know, Louis was like, uh, I was banned from Louis for a minute. Um, but uh, finally managed to get uh, Luella Annabeth. So she is brand new and uh, I've been using her a lot and it's just so beautiful how it stays masterfully clean. And I was super scared. I was like, oh gosh, I'm going to get the whole you know, the stains and I'm uh, should I use the bag today? I, you know what, today I'm not going to use it because I don't want it to get the stains so soon. But now I'm not scared, you know, and I'm enjoying the bag so much more because of these baby wipes, really. So um, I did not wait the one week of like just keeping it in the somewhere in indirect sunlight to let it patina a little bit. I actually started using it right away. Um, but I took really good care of it. And it's just, I mean, it's such a joy to use. I mean, these speedies and key poles are such a joy. Tabitha, Tabitha, my key pole has been, uh, you know, with me already uh, for longer now. And uh, it's just, and I've traveled across the world with this one. Okay. A different, many different continents. And it's just so gorgeous. You know, it's starting to get a patina, but it's like such a beautiful, beautiful patina. Uh, it's not at all, you know, kind of like nasty, ugly. <laughs> it's just really, really, really beautiful. You can see also the bottom. These bags are just gorgeous. And the more they age and the more beautiful they look, uh, just my humble opinion. And that's why I also always say Louis Vuitton, you should never um, stop making your heritage travel pieces because this is your strength. You know, Louis Vuitton is pushing the fashion and they want to be a fashion house. And I'm just like, this is your strength. This is why we love you, Louis. Also it gives me total 80s vibes. Oh my gosh, to die for. Now, um, this will uh, apparently slow down the patina process because if you keep wiping them every after, you know, just like you, like you saw me do it, quickly pass over it. Don't, rub too hard, soft pressure, you know, delicate pressure, but firm enough to take off your oils of your skin that have been on, on the bag, right? And um, when you use the baby wipes, it will slow down apparently the honeying of, uh, of the vaquetta leather, right? So it's gonna turn that amber color a little bit slower um, then if you wouldn't do it, you see, but if you, if you don't do it, then, uh, that kind of darker hue here would come sooner. I have, um, my toiletry pouch 15 since 2014. Okay. And I do have a water stain here because uh, I didn't use baby wipes back in 2014 or 2015 when I got this one water stain right there but this water stain is kind of getting um less and less visible because look i'm gonna take a baby wipe take a new one just to show you so i'm gonna fold it again and i know a lot of you still have these gorgeous um toiletry pouches, either the 15, the 19, or the 26. So look, this is a vaquetta tab, okay? I bought this one new in the shop, in the Louis Vuitton shop in uh, 2014. And so, uh, yeah, uh, have had it already nine years. Look how gorgeously it has 
started yellowing and kind of becoming honey gold. So we can also do this. We, we just take this and there you go. I rubbed it all over. You see how it changed color? It got darker, but then it's gonna... It's gonna... Look at it. Look at it turning light again. The back of it as well. It's all gonna beautifully dry out. And you've just kind of rubbed it all at once, you know? Don't put too much pressure on one side rather than the other. Always maintain the same pressure. Be very firm in your movements, you know? so that you don't get too much of this kind of water right on one spot rather than the other and uh yeah i just did it quickly massaged it in let it dry gorgeous really really gorgeous so this is uh like i said uh, i'm just sharing with you what i do as you've seen me do now on my bags and small leather goods huggies pure no alcohol no perfume you do you boo you know, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just sharing with you what I do. And you've seen me do it on camera. So that's that's how I roll here. And I am so, so, so happy with these. I actually purchased a whole uh, box because it was like kind of cheaper. So so I, I got kind of like, I think I got, yeah, 10 of these in one, like one big box. But okay. And this is just to be as sustainable as we can. Once you've used this, you don't want to just throw it away after just cleaning a handle of a bag after you've used it one day, right? What I do with this is if you have one area of the house that doesn't have carpet, just like normal floor, wood or something, I use it as an extra moment to clean the floor a little bit. So after I've done my handle, you know, I'm like, oh, well, I still need, I can still use this. You know, I don't want to create so much waste. Let's try to think, at least think a little bit sustainably. So then I start cleaning the floor with this, <laughs> you know, and it's great because then you kind of do like two birds with one stone. So I clean up the floor a little bit and then I dispose of it. And then the floor is also clean. You know what I mean? So... Oh, Joyful Remorse in the comments says, in the chat says, I'd, I'd do the same. Yeah. So I'm telling you, it's amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And thank you, Ashley, for inspiring me to try it out, to inspire me to risk it. And thank you because I risked it and uh, it, it paid off for me. I you know I'm really, really happy with the results. Thank you guys so much. Until next time. Oh, no. Not, not ready yet, not finished yet. There's one more bag that is brand new. And um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to show you. I just got this one, right? We unboxed it together the other day. Uh, it's the uh, Pochette Accessoires. Now, this one is like new, new. So uh, I just got it. I haven't worn it out yet. So I'm not going to do the... Um, baby wipes just yet on it because I haven't worn it yet. So I just want to keep it, you know, a little bit longer in this gorgeous kind of unused state so I can enjoy it. But as you know, I give names to all my bags and somebody said while I was unboxing this in my live chat, hey, uh, what's the name for your bag? Like, why don't you give a name to this little bag? So here's a little moment, a little a name giving of the bag together. Um, and I just want to say that the person who told me, why don't you give the bag a name, is Penny Lane Mitchell. So thank you, Penny Lane Mitchell, for reminding me. And Penny Lane Mitchell also gave me an idea for the name. And I loved it so much that actually, uh, Penny Lane Mitchell... You're the person who gave the name to this bag, and I'm going to tell you what the name of the bag is. Let me just... And it's the cutest name. Like, I could not have thought of the name, a better name myself. So Penny Lane Mitchell said, why don't you call the bag Petunia? <laughs> so, the Pochette Accessoires is named Petunia. There you have it, guys. Petunia would like to say hi to everybody. Never forget to never give up on love and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.